Liza Koshi launched a new skincare line, so I bought it, and today we're gonna be trying it out for the first time. Hey there, chameleons, it's Camille, and today we're gonna be trying out Liza Koshi's new skincare line for the first time. And as soon as she posted that she was launching a skincare line, I bought it, I was so excited for it to ship. I've been waiting to use it to try it on camera for the first time, so today is the day and I am really excited. Side note, I wanna quickly thank you guys for all of your positive feedback on Keeping Up With The Chameleons. If you guys don't know what that is, I decided to start doing monthly vlogs. I used to daily vlog way back in the day, but it is so time consuming and so stressful, so I decided to do a little bit of vlogging throughout the month and then put it together in a full length episode. So I just dropped the first episode recently and I really enjoy hearing you guys feedback and I'm working on episode two right now. I am so excited, it's coming along very well and I am very excited to post that one. Pretty much it is like a play on Keeping Up With The Kardashians except Kardashians are out, chameleons are in, but it's vlog style and it's all real so it's linked in the description box down below if you wanna check that out. As well as all of my other social media including TikTok, I'm on there now so definitely check that out. So back to Liza, she came out with a skincare line under the brand Simwa, which I'd never heard of, but apparently they're sold at Target and Amazon. Her brand under Simwa is called One of One, so I decided that I would get a bundle that they had on the website. So this is called The Works. It comes with four different products and I thought it would be a good way to test out the line because it's pretty much just a full skincare routine in here and it would give me a chance to test out the different levels, how good they are individually, and how they are as a full routine together. So what comes in the kit is the Face Balm Cleansing Duo, the Face Off Exfoliating Mask, the Milk It Shimmer Hydrofluid Moisturizer, and the Level Out Balancing Treatment Mist. Whenever celebrities come out with a beauty line, people are always like, oh, the celebrity doesn't really care, it's just a cash grab, they probably don't like the product or don't even use it. And I definitely understand that point of view, uh, but sometimes there are celebrities who come out with something that they're really passionate about, that they really like and that they use. So trying to figure that out is kind of interesting, but in my opinion, I feel like Liza has been really genuine with this and that she's been into skincare for a while. Also just look at her face, like her skin is incredible. If you guys have never seen Liza Koshy's skin, just search Liza Koshy's skin and just look at it, like it's, it's incredible. So between that and the fact that you can look back and see that she's been into skincare for a while, I would say that this is one of the more genuine celebrity slash influencer launches. But I am still gonna go into the review unbiased we're gonna just check out the product and see how good they are individually and together as a line. So a little bit of background about the brand before I put it on my face. She decided to create it because she has sensitive skin and wanted to make something that worked really well on her. And I watched her video on launch day of her talking about all the products, so I tried to gather as much information as possible for this video. And their main selling point is that it's a clean beauty line, and pretty much what they mean by that is that there are no synthetic fragrance, no parabens, sulfates, mineral oil, silicone, talc, etc. And it also says on all of the product boxes so you know exactly what's not in there, what's in there, and you know what you're putting on your face. She did an interview with Cosmo to explain more about the brand and she said, I had a lot of skin issues and breakouts as a kid. Relatable. As a kid, you're insecure about everything and the last thing you want to be insecure about is the first thing people see your face. So that became a huge priority for me, trying to figure it out, what could smooth it, what could even it, and what could do so in a really safe way. That's why I was so happy to find Samoa. It's natural and organic and a lot of their products are vegan. So already it sounds good, fragrance free, clean beauty, it's vegan. It seems to be really good for sensitive skin, which is great because I have had dry skin for a long time lately because I've been on Accutane for like eight months. And as you guys who've done Accutane know, it sucks all of the moisture out of you. It sucks the soul out of you, but it mostly sucks the moisture out of you. So I've had to treat my skin very differently and I treat it more of like sensitive skin and like dry skin lately. So we'll see how good it is for my skin and my skin type, but we're gonna be starting with the Face Balm Cleansing Duo. So I think the packaging is really cute. And when you open it, the cleansing balm has two ends 
One side is an exfoliating face brush to use while you're washing your face. And then the other end is the balm itself. So you wet this and then you rub it on your skin. You use this side to exfoliate and then you rinse it off. The balm has noni fruit and evening primrose oil. It says, we dropped a face balm to give you the clean skin you've been dreaming of. This multi-cleansing stick provides a silky cleansing balm on one end and an exfoliating silicone brush on the other. Scrub off the day and slide in tonight with soft, smooth, sweet baby skin. So I'm gonna use it as directed. It says to apply the cleansing balm to damp skin, smoothing over every soft square inch of your face, neck, and chest as desired. I'm just doing my face though. <laughs> For an even deeper clean, follow with using the exfoliating brush in gentle circles. Wash away with warm water and kiss your mirror. The first thing I noticed is that the silicone brush that's supposed to be for exfoliating really sucks. I would never use this to exfoliate my face. It like doesn't really bend very well. It just kind of feels like you're rubbing something hard on your face and there isn't any like brush action or exfoliating action or anything. It just kind of feels like pretty pointless and I would never replace a spinning face brush for this. But the other end, I do like. It's really easy to apply if you don't like putting suds on your hand and rubbing it all over, which I know some guys don't wash their face because they don't like doing that part. So this part is pretty easy and I like that it's solid so you can take it to travel whenever that starts happening again. But this end is not my favorite. Also, you gotta be careful because turning this is what makes this thing go up and down. And if you have the thing on that, and you are accidentally like turning it while you're doing that, it's gonna be pushing the side out and I accidentally did that. Also side note, I would not cover this end unless you're traveling because it's wet. So if you put the cover on, then it's just gonna keep in all of that moisture and the wetness and whatever came off of your face and it will just be a breeding ground for grossness so just make sure you let that dry it out and don't put the cover on every night when you rinse it off always remember to use a clean face towel and just pat your skin dry very gently i use microfiber face cloths and i bought a pack of like seven or something so i can use one for like a day or two and then just put it in the laundry and take a fresh one every day so my skin always stays perfectly clean and i'm never introducing any germs to it and also I'm being very gentle when I pat it dry instead of rubbing. And it also retains some moisture in my skin when you're not like scrubbing the water off. Next, I'm gonna try the exfoliating mask and they have a few different masks on their website. The one that comes in the works bundle that I got is the orange one that has lactic acid and squalene. It says, orange is the new mask, starring your stunning face. This whipped clay mask is packed with lactic, malic and citric acids plus green tea, aloe vera, and squalene, all teaming up to exfoliate and rejuvenate your skin. Baby's bottoms wish they could get this off. How to use, apply to clean skin. Good thing we just cleaned it. Smile casually in the mirror. Gently rinse off face after 15 minutes. Gasp in disbelief at how soft your skin is. <gasps> Tell your friends. To apply the face mask, I'm using this face mask brush. It's so cute. I got it for Christmas from my mom, so thanks mom. I had it on my Amazon wish list because I always wanted to try one of these things out, so I'm trying it out today. This is what the inside of the mask looks like. It looks like a regular clay mask, except orange instead of like the regular gray kind of color they usually have. And this brush is so cute. It's keeping my hands from getting messy. I love that. Um, but this is not a review on the brush. This is about the mask. It seems to spread pretty easily and kind of similar to most clay masks I've tried. Clay masks usually spread pretty easily when they're fresh. And then once the mask starts to kind of dry out, then it gets harder to spread and clumpy but you can always just mix water back into the mixture. But this one spreads pretty nicely. Just make sure that you keep the cap on the bottle tight so it doesn't dry up and turn goopy like that. Wow, this is so easy to put around my lips. I love this brush. It does feel like kind of cooling. Like clay masks are always kind of like temperature cooling and not like minty type of cooling, but I dig it so far. Nice texture, feels good on my skin. 
cute color. Also, Liza is a big fan of multi-masking, so depending on what part of your skin needs what kind of help, you can choose a mask specific for that. So if you need to like dry out your T-zone, you do like a clay mask if you want to do that and like exfoliate your nose. And then if the rest of your skin needs hydration, you could do like a hydrating mask or like a brightening mask around like the darker areas or whatever. But I tend to like to do clay masks everywhere because it can help with like exfoliation and like brightening, but then also like kind of getting rid of any sebum or whatever. But that's why she has a bunch of different types of masks in her line. Now that I've applied to clean skin and smiled casually in the mirror, it's time to gently rinse off face after 15 minutes. So I'm going to let this sit for 15 minutes, probably just going to watch some YouTube videos, and then I'll be right back. I'm back, I'm black, and this is starting to crack, so it's time to rinse it off. It's been about 15 minutes, so let's rinse this off with some warm water. So far, this is my favorite products out of the two, but no, I do really like it. My skin does feel really soft. It feels so nice. It's like definitely partially the lactic acid. I love me some lactic acid. And then it has the aloe in it. That could be it, but that stuff is really nice. I really do like this mask. It says it's supposed to exfoliate and rejuvenate your skin. And I feel like it really did both of them. After washing my face with the exfoliating brush, I didn't really feel exfoliated, but now it does. And it also feels like really nice and soft. I wish you guys could feel. Actually, no, I don't. That would be weird. And there's a pandemic going on. Next, I'm trying the Milk It Shimmer Hydro Fluid, which says it's a genius in a bottle, baby. So milk it for all it's worth. This shimmering hydrofluid is a super moisturizing blend of jojoba milk and hyaluronic acid, bathing you in a clean and luminous glow. You need some milk? He needs some milk! And this glass is for you. Cheers. I like the descriptions. I think they're really cute. And this is what the container looks like. It's really interesting. It's a moisturizer. We'll get to that later. But it has a dropper. So... I've never really seen a moisturizer like that. And it's very liquidy. Um, you can see by how it drips. It got that drip though. Came through drip, drip, drip. No, but it is really milky, kind of like how it's called milk it. So that makes sense. And the reason is because it has jojoba milk in it. But it is really interesting because jojoba milk is pretty much just diluted jojoba oil in a more liquidy consistency. So this is more of a face oil than a moisturizer because a moisturizer should be more water-based. Soak into your skin and then you use an oil on top to help seal it all in. I watched Hiram's review and he said this is more of a hydrating face oil and I have to agree based on the ingredients. Also, it's shimmering, which is interesting. And I saw some people commented that it's too shimmery and some people thought that it was like a good amount of shimmer. So let's try that for ourselves. I'm just gonna hold this above my skin and do a couple drops so I don't actually touch the dropper so I don't get roasted, but sometimes I touch the dropper. I do really like jojoba oil because it's lightweight and it's a humectant, so that means it attracts moisture to your skin and it's antibacterial. And this is absorbing really fast. It's supposed to absorb really fast, but this is like fast, fast. I hope you guys can see this as well as I can, but this is very shimmery. It looks like I put a liquid highlight on my face and I love how it would look as a highlight. Like that would be just beautiful on the um, top of my cheekbone, but not all over my whole face. I'm not really sure I'm into that. I look really shiny. It pretty much just looks like that highlighter challenge, that challenge where people would just use every highlighting product and just do their whole face. I think I did that like maybe four years ago. Um, fun challenge, but not for everyday wear. <laughs> I also think it absorbed really fast to the point where I didn't really get a good chance to spread it out that much. And it doesn't really feel like, it doesn't feel oily, so I can't really feel that it's jojoba oil, which may be the reason that they used milk, so that part is nice. But it also doesn't feel moisturizing. So between that and the amount of shimmer, 
don't think I would use this as a moisturizer or even a face oil. I would use it on the top of my cheekbones as a nice highlight. I definitely could see it for that, but I wouldn't use it all over my face. The last product I'm trying is the Level Out Balancing Treatment Mist. And this is the last step of the skincare routine. This is what the bottle looks like. Very cute. I like the packaging. I think the packaging is adorable, kind of like Liza. Aww. And I think it kind of goes with the whole brand and the one of one and everything. So I like that. This is made with rose and probiotics. And the description is, keep your balance and keep your cool. It's time to level out with some help from friendly probiotics, rose, aloe, jojoba milk, pineapple, and coconut fruit extracts taking you to a whole new level. So personally, I love probiotics. I take probiotics and prebiotics every single day. I love kombucha. I used to make my own kombucha. I love me some probiotics. So very happy with that. Has a bunch of other ingredients that kind of make it sound like a fruit punch. Also do like that. I love fruit. And then jojoba milk is in there too, which could be cool if it's not shimmery. So overall, I love the ingredient mist. And the instructions are, Mist as often as you wish. We highly suggest spoiling yourself by misting every single inch of your stunning skin. That's a nice fine mist. I like that. I like when face mists are really tiny particles and it doesn't just get big globs of liquid on your face. I've used some really bad setting sprays before that will just spray your face like it's hairspray or something or like a disinfectant, you know, you spray it and it has the mist option and you can turn it and then it has that like dart option. It's horrifying. So whenever I'm looking at a face mist or a setting spray or anything, I definitely always check the nozzle to see how fine the mist is and if I'm going to be ruining my face by spraying it after doing whatever, makeup, skin. I also like that it, it dries pretty quickly. Like this is a product that you definitely want to dry somewhat quickly so you don't just have water on your face, especially if you're doing it over makeup. And I kind of do like doing face mist over makeup if I can get away with it, but I also like how it feels on my bare face. I probably prefer that. They also highly suggest that you spoil yourself and mist every inch of your stunning skin. So I guess we're gonna have to do that. Start the neck, this, do my back, arms. Oh, this is kind of like taking like a really quick shower. Get my stomach, get my feet. All right, so I followed all the instructions and I feel great. I love this. It's just so hydrating and just like really nice and refreshing. And I feel like this is perfect if you ride the New York City subway in the summer. This is definitely one of the least necessary pieces of a skincare routine. Not really even a, a routine, just like whenever you need it, but it is luxurious. And I love misting sprays, they're so nice. Uh, it definitely also is one of my favorite products that I've tried of the One of One by Say Moi by Liza Koshi. So overall, what my thoughts on these products are is the face balm is okay and I hate the exfoliating head. The clay face mask, the orange one, I really like and I highly recommend. I think it makes my skin feel so nice and so smooth and really hydrated. The Milk It Shimmer Hydro Fluid, I would not recommend as skincare in general. It could be used as a liquid highlight if that's what you're looking for. Definitely not recommend as a moisturizer or to go all over your face. And then lastly, the Level Out Face Mist. I love this guy, super fun. I just, it's so refreshing. So in order of favorites, love this guy, love the mask. This is okay, and I don't recommend this. All right, that's everything. I hope you guys found this review helpful and enjoyed going along the process with me trying these things for the first time. I actually think I'm gonna start doing that for hair care lines and just try a full line shampoo, conditioner, styling products of a different brand each time. And I think I'm gonna try stuff for curly hair, natural hair, dyed hair, other hair and just compare all of the lines and see how they are. I feel like that would be really useful for people to be able to look up and see if different products from different lines are good. And it would also help me make a perfect hair care routine because I'm always doing little tweaks to make it more perfect than the last time. I feel like I got a really good thing going right now, but we can see if it will be any better and 
worst case scenario, it's entertainment. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out all of my other social media links in the description down below. Also, if you haven't watched the first episode of Keeping Up With The Chameleons, that is also linked in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I will see you in the next one.